first thing i'm doing in the morning is making myself some celery juice i have here some organic celery this isn't something i do on a regular basis but for this week i was trying out drinking celery juice every single morning so that is why i'm making it and i'm making mine in my blender because i don't have a juicer so i just added a little bit of water and i don't have a full-size blender so i'm just blending a bit at a time until i blend out all of the celery that i want to use to juice and then of course you're going to need to strain out that juice so i'm just using a reusable produce bag which basically doubles as a nut milk bag i guess and this worked really really well and i actually prefer using this method over using a juicer i used to have a juicer and i don't know juicers are just annoying and plus i don't really juice very often anyway so this is a much better method <laughs> okay and about half an hour after I drink my juice, I am making breakfast. I am actually making some buckwheat noodles, aka soba noodles, for breakfast, and I'm also going to make some scrambled tofu. For my scrambled tofu, I'm just chopping up half a bell pepper, and I'm also going to chop some green onions. And I like to chop extra green onions and just leave them in the fridge or the freezer so that whenever I want to use them, I can just throw them in. Let's heat a little oil on a pan on medium-high heat and then we can add in those peppers. I'm also going to throw in a bit of minced garlic. And let's crumble up some tofu. And I like to let my tofu cook for a little bit before adding any seasonings just to let the moisture kind of escape and allow it to cook. And while that's happening, we can also rinse our soba noodles with some cold water. And now we're ready to add our scrambled tofu seasoning. Now I've talked about this before, but I like to keep a jar of a mixture of different spices that I like to use for scrambled tofu so that whenever I make scrambled tofu, I can just take out that one jar and just add in those spices into my scrambled tofu. And in the jar, we've got some turmeric, cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, nutritional yeast, and paprika. And right now I'm adding some salt and I think I'm adding a bit of extra nutritional yeast. But yes, this is a great way to make your lives easier by making a mix ahead of time. And now we can add our buckwheat noodles or soba noodles into a bowl and I'm just going to add a bit of soy sauce, rice vinegar, and toasted sesame oil and mixing that well. It's a really simple combination but it's really really yummy. You can of course also add a bit of sweetener if you'd like so you can add a bit of maple syrup or coconut sugar. For me I just added a little bit of coconut aminos that already naturally has a bit of sweetness so that's what I did and then on top of that, I'm just going to add my scrambled tofu. I know this is a kind of an interesting concoction, but I really enjoyed it. To garnish, I'm just adding some chopped green onion and some toasted sesame seeds. And there is my filling and delicious breakfast. <laughs> And I don't normally drink soy milk like this, but I'm just having a very small glass of soy milk. And I had a pretty late breakfast, so I wasn't super hungry and I went to a cafe to do some work. So I'm having an Americano and I'm also having this peanut butter tart that just happened to be vegan. So I wanted to try it. It was like a mini little thing, but I wasn't really hungry. Maybe it's a celery juice. Yeah, I don't know. And let's fast forward to dinner time. I am chopping up some onions. We're gonna dice some onion. And I had some leftover jalapeno, so I'm just gonna dice that. And this is basically like a leftover style fried rice. So I am just adding a bit of oil onto a nonstick pan, and I'm just going to start sauteing the onion and the jalapeno, and I also added a bit of garlic. And I'm adding some frozen edamame beans and also a mixture of frozen veggies. And then we're just gonna cook that up a little bit just to make sure that we are thawing out out those frozen veggies and then we're gonna add in some leftover sour kimchi I don't have a lot but I had some left so I wanted to make a kimchi fried rice but I'm just adding a bunch of random things in here by the way I do have a homemade kimchi recipe that is vegan so if you guys are interested in that I'll leave a link to that video down below and now we are adding some leftover rice this is about a day old rice I'm using brown rice and we are just going to mix that in the kimchi already gives a lot of flavor, so I'm just going to add a very tiny amount of soy sauce and then mix it well. Mm -hmm. 
And when everything is pretty much done cooking, we're just adding a very small amount of toasted sesame oil. This is super important. It's super delicious, but you only need a very small amount. Then at the very end, I'm just going to add in some chopped green onion. And of course, we are going to top with some toasted sesame seeds. And I actually had a little bit of scrambled tofu left from the day before. So I'm actually going to add some of that onto my rice. So I'm having a bit of scrambled tofu with kimchi fried rice. And there is my delicious and very filling dinner. And that's pretty much it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!